Hi, my name is Tolu Kay, and I'm the author of the best-selling Survival Guide series, which is available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and iBooks. And this is the sixth in a series of instructional films. And today we're going to talk about the Kindle Fire, Amazon's first tablet. And I'd like to show you a few tips and tricks, just some things you may not know that will help you to get the most out of your new tablet. So, let's get started. First, I'd like to show you several things you can do to increase the battery life of your Kindle Fire. First, you always want to lock your Kindle Fire when you're not using it. And to do so, you can press the power button that's at the bottom of the device, and it will lock. Another thing you can do is decrease the brightness of the screen. To do so, touch the small settings icon at the top right of the screen, and the quick settings appear. Now we touch brightness. Now when I touch the slider, and slide it to the left or right, I can adjust the brightness of the screen. And so let's keep it as low as possible, if you can, and that will increase your battery life. Another thing you can do is turn Wi-Fi off whenever you're not using it. And again, we can touch settings icon to do this, and then touch Wi-Fi. Now you can see the Wi-Fi is on, and I'm connected to a network. And the switch is on, and you can see that the orange is on the on. So I'm going to touch it. And now off is highlighted in orange, and Wi-Fi is turned off. Final thing you can do is to decrease the screen timeout, which means that the Kindle Fire will lock itself automatically after a set period of time. To do this, I'm going to touch the small settings icon again, and then touch more, this plus here at the top right, and the settings screen appears, and I'm going to touch display. And then when the display settings appear, touch screen timeout. And you get a list of options here. So right now I have it set on never, just so it doesn't time out while I'm making the video. And you can set anywhere from 30 seconds to an hour or so. Obviously 30 seconds would be the lowest here. And you will increase the battery life of your device. And that is how you can conserve battery life on the Kindle Fire. The next tip I'd like to show you is how to view the amount of available memory on your Kindle Fire. To do so, touch the small settings icon at the top right, and then touch more. And then we're going to touch device at the bottom of the screen here. And the amount of available memory appears here at the top of the screen. So it says 5.46 gigabytes of 6.5 gigabytes available. And that's how you check the amount of available memory on the Kindle Fire. The next tip I'd like to show you has to do with searching an ebook for a word. I'm going to open the Kindle Fire Survival Guide. And now you can always search by touching the screen anywhere and then touching the magnifying glass, typing in a search phrase or word, and then touch the go button. But you can also search for a word by touching the word and holding it down. And then touch more. Now when I touch search in book, it will search for that word that we selected, and it will give you a list of all the locations where that word is found. And you can always touch one of these locations to go there. And then if you touch back, it will return to where you were in the book. And then that's how you quickly search for a word in an ebook. The fourth tip I'd like to show you has to do with downloading music from the Amazon store. Now, normally it will ask you whether you want to download the music to your cloud and store it there and stream it or whether you want to download it to your device. Now in order to avoid having to choose this every time you can actually set a download default. To do this first go to your music touch music at the top and then we're going to touch the menu button at the bottom of the screen it's in between these two here. And then touch settings. Now before we do this, you need to make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on. To do that, I'm going to touch the settings icon at the top, and then touch Wi-Fi. And see my Wi-Fi is turned on. There's on is highlighted in orange. If yours isn't, just touch that switch and make sure that Wi-Fi is turned on. And then you can just touch outside of it to make that menu go away. And now touch Delivery Preference. And when this menu appears, 
you can choose whether to save purchases to your cloud drive, which is what I'm currently doing, or you can touch save purchases to this device. And the delivery preference saved, and now you won't have to choose the delivery method every time. And that is how you choose where to deliver your music on the Kindle Fire. Next, I'd like to show you how you can control music playback without ever unlocking the Kindle Fire. To do this, I'm going to open the music library, switch music at the top, and then touch the menu button at the bottom, and touch settings. Now I see lock screen controls, I'm going to touch that, and the orange check mark appears to signify that this feature has been turned on. Now I'm going to go back to the library and just to demonstrate what these controls look like on the lock screen. So we're going to play some Lifehouse here. Now when you lock your Kindle Fire, you will actually need to unlock it once before the controls are activated. And then you can see the controls here. And so you can control the music. So you can skip to the next song and pause it, play. Right from the lock screen, when you want to unlock your Kindle Fire, just touch unlock at the top right. And it's unlocked and you can navigate in the same way. I'll show you again here. Now when you lock it, you'll go to the controls. And now when you lock it again, you actually won't even need to slide to unlock. The controls will show up automatically after the first time that you do it. And that is how you turn on controls for music playback right from the lock screen. The next two tips I'd like to show you have to do with managing your email, and namely how to reply quickly to an email without ever even opening the message, and also how to view all email from a specific sender. Now to do this, let's open the mail application, and I have a shortcut to it here in the favorites, but you can always open it by touching apps at the top, I'm going to touch email and touch your account. Now we touch and hold one email in the list and the email menu appears. And then we touch reply. And then I can enter a message, touch send, and the reply will be sent. You can also view all of the mail from a single sender. So we're going to discard this one for now. Similarly, touch and hold an email, and then we're going to touch more from the sender, right at the bottom of the list. And it will actually show all of the email from that specific sender without you having to search the inbox, which can get a little tedious. And those are the two tips I have for you for managing email on your Kindle Fire. Another excellent tip I found comes in handy when you're surfing the web using Amazon Silk Web Browser. Now since the browser has tab browsing, I actually found that I could close all of the tabs at once, which really is handy. So we're going to open the web, and then to close all of the tabs, I'm going to touch just one of the tabs and hold it until the tab menu appears, and then I'm going to touch close all tabs, and all tabs close, and you just have one new tab open, and you can choose to go to another site. And that's how you close all of the tabs in the Silk Web Browser. Here's a tip for all you newspaper readers out there, especially those of you who have daily or weekly subscriptions. By default, when you open your newsstand, touch this at the top left, it shows you just the latest issue of a newspaper or magazine. But you can also view the back issues, and these are the previous issues of a magazine or newspaper. To do that, you touch and hold the cover, and then we touch show back issues and it will show you all of the issues that you have on your device for that periodical and you can always go back by touching any one of these issues so I'll touch a different one just to demonstrate and touch hide back issues and it will just go back to showing the most recent issue and 
that is how you show the back issues of a newspaper or magazine. The final tip I'd like to show you is slightly more advanced. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post them in the comments. And I'll get back to you about that and give you more in-depth explanation. This has to do with closing applications that run in the background and which can slow your Kindle Fire down and also decrease the battery life. Now, when you open an application, for instance, let's say Gin Rummy here, as soon as it's open, it will actually remain open. So, for instance, I'll open a game just to demonstrate here. This application will remain open until you close it manually. So when I hit home, the application is still running in the background. So when I touch it, it will actually go back right to the screen and I can continue to play. Now this is great, but like I said, it will slow your device down and your battery life but will definitely be decreased slightly. So to close an application that's running in the background, you can touch this small settings icon at the top right and then touch more and touch applications. This is the interesting part because it actually doesn't show Gin Rummy that we just had open under the running applications which is what it says right here. But what you want to do is touch running applications and then touch all applications. Scroll down and find the application that is open in the background touch it, and then the application description appears here. And as you can see, there's a button called Force Stop, and that's the button we want to press. And confirmation appears, touch OK, and Force Stop is grayed out. Now, when we go back into this application, this button is grayed out, and this indicates that the application is no longer running. Another great way to check that is if I go back into the application, I have to start all over again so it reloads and I knew that it wasn't running in the background. And that is how you close applications that are running in the background to prevent them from decreasing battery life and slowing down your device. And those are all the Kindle Fire tips I have for you today. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments or you can click one of the links in the description and check out my other survival guides which cover everything from e-readers to tablets to smartphones. Thank you for watching and see you next time.